Hey everyone, it's Valerie, and today I will be reviewing another As Seen on TV product. Um, I actually bought this the same time that I bought the Cat's Meow, and it's a little bit sad that I'm super excited to try something like this because it has to do with bacon. It's called the Perfect Bacon Bowl. I'm not sure if you've ever seen the infomercials on it. They're pretty rad. Um, everything tastes better in a bacon bowl. Anyway, so the, the package, I bought it at our local Walmart. It's $9.88 and it comes with two of these bacon bowls and I guess it's supposed to be super uh, simple to put together, super simple, super simple to put together. Uh, you wrap, you cook, and then you enjoy. So, like I said, I'm pretty excited to try this out. I have, um, obviously you provide your own bacon. They don't put bacon in here. So I have a pack of naturally hickory smoke thick cut bacon. Hopefully it cooks the same. I think they just use regular bacon in here, but you know, I like thick bacon. So we're gonna cook thick bacon. So place it in an X over the center, like so. Okay, and then I get the first piece of bacon. It says do it fat side up. So it looks like it's all fat. So in this case, it's all sides up. Well, you know, there's a little bit of the meat stuff at the bottom. So fat side up. Uh, mine kind of overlaps, but you know, it's okay. There's no such thing as too much bacon, right? <laughs> it's all okay so I think I'm gonna call that good looks delicious <laughs> first bowl done now I'm gonna do the second bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and um, I'm gonna get ready to cook this bacon all right I'll be right back All right, so here we go, microwave method. Two minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> that is an absolute fail. Bacon bowl <laughs> completely popped off the thing. Check it out. That's a lot of grease. I'm a little bit terrified. That was only three strips of bacon and all that grease um, is from it. And it's not even cooked all the way. Oh, shucks, that's really hot. Okay, so there you go. That was like a bacon fail in the microwave. I guess I was just too excited to get started on this. But anyway, I'm gonna try, I guess I'll try the second one in our toaster oven. It'll take 30 minutes, but hopefully it doesn't end up like this. Okay, so we're going to use the toaster oven. Excuse the dirty ashtray at the bottom. Um, but I put the first one in there because we're gonna cook it up. And here's the second one, uncooked. I patted it down with a paper towel um, so that I wouldn't get the bacon crap on my hands again. So I'm gonna put it in there. All right, so after 30 minutes in here, it's still not cooked. So I'm going to let it go for another, we'll say 15 minutes. I obviously don't feel like eating raw bacon today. Um, so I'm gonna let that go another 15 minutes. This is the bacon from the first bacon bowl that was an epic fail in the microwave. I had to take it out because I noticed that the, the edges were getting um, cooked the, the middle part still wasn't getting cooked all the way through. So I just took it off the bowl and I put it in some foil, closed it up and threw it in there. Um, took it out and it looks like it's all the way cooked. Looks like it held its shape a lot better in the toaster oven. So that might be the recommended way to go if you're willing to wait. 
a little over 30 minutes. Hey, I'm back everyone. So I have the bacon bowl. Um, it looks like it's pretty well done. I poured the grease out. There was a pretty terrifying amount of grease. It kind of made me feel a little guilty and disgusted, but you know, it's not gonna stop me from eating this. So anyway, I've let it cool down some so that I don't burn myself and I'm going to try and pry this guy off. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get it off without ripping it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna like Hulk smash the whole damn thing. I mean the top is already cracking. Um, because it's like all, you know, crispy up, up at the top and then the bottom is not so much. So I'm having a heck of a time trying to get this thing off. Okay, well, it's, it's kind of coming off right now. And so I had to do some behind the scenes camera magic. And as you can see, I was able to remove the bacon bowl from the bacon bowl contraption. <laughs> this really sucks. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. I know I had oiled it fairly well. I don't know if I'm just supposed to dump a gallon of oil. And as you can see <laughs> from my uh, manhandling of, of the bacon bowl with my gorilla hands, I completely <laughs> Hulk smash this thing into oblivion. It does not even <laughs> look like a bacon bowl. It's more like a bacon freaking fail saucer. Will it stop me from eating it? Hell no! <laughs> I just spent like close to 45 minutes, well close to an hour cooking three strips of bacon, it's gonna get eaten. I mean, good news is it's cooked all the way through. Bad news is this was a complete fail. Um, and and it's probably because I, I must have done something wrong or I fail at reading instructions or something. I don't know, I mean, have you tried this out? Did you use this product? Did you have more luck? If you did, let me know what you, what you did right, because I don't know what I did wrong and it's looking at this fail bacon plate is making me sad. I'm still going to eat it and I'm probably going to be happy afterward, but <laughs> I'm just really embarrassed right now that I pretty much had to like, like tear that stuff off of there and it was, it was not pretty. You know, I had fun putting this together and uh, laughing at myself as I try and pry this thing off. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, you know, and let me know what you think. Alright, see you later.